So Fell asleep to some head, just woke up from jet lag. Now it's time to bust a move. Me and Bolo in a jack. She just spent a couple thousand towards titties wouldn't sag. Now she got the whole package. She just trying to get a bag. I'll fuck her till she out of breath, just like an asthma attack. I don't care about your sign, don't care about Zodiac. I'm just trying to make a movie when we get back to the trap. Hit it to my mixtape, but cutty cuz soundtrack. And I just need her for a day, and I'ma bring her right back. Asking me about a bitch, what kind of dumb shit is that? And she just bone it through wood, she acting like a lumberjack. And she just bone it through wood, she acting like a lumberjack. My name is O'Shea, but I go by Cuddy Cuz when it comes to the music. A lot of people know me as O'Shea. I got Cuddy Cuz from one of my cousins. He do music too. Boot that is. Shout out Boot that is. He do music back um, in Oakland where I'm from. And uh, he just gave me the name one day. We just, he just was calling me that one day because I'm his little cousin. He just was like Cuddy Cuz. I just stuck with it and kept, just kept saying it. And, other family start calling me that. My partner start calling me that. So I'm like, fuck it. Cuddy cuz. And around that time, I wasn't really taking the music as serious. So I'm taking it right now. So I ain't really had no rap name. So I just stuck with Cuddy cuz. I want to just, I want to be known for my music. I mean, I feel like, I feel like I got talent when it comes to the music. And I feel like, I want to. I don't want it to go to waste. I want people to know about my music. I want people to hear it before I'm gone. You know, like, cause I, like, I'm. A, I've been around people like right now. People that I grew up around that was telling me when we was growing up, like, man, you roll with the music, and they just tried it out and put they all into it. And I'm sitting back, not really taking it too serious, but I got a real talent. And a lot of them niggas is is a lot further in the music right now and I just was sitting back looking like damn these niggas that's been telling me like bro you been raw with this shit so basically to answer the question yeah I want to be known for just my talent that I just feel like I've been holding back on I ain't gonna lie I really start taking the music seriously when I when I really start taking the music seriously is when I went to my partner house shout out Jay Stalin I went to his house one time my cousin had me at his house, we was over there kicking it, and I'm in his house, and I'm like, damn. And I'm coming from the block right now. Me and my cousin, we coming from the block. Well, I'm probably outside all night trying to make a couple of dollars. We coming from the block. I go to Jay Stalin house. I'm like, damn, this nigga making all of this off music. And not to say it's just about the money. It's just to say that I know if I was in the right position, I would have a worth ethic to do the same thing. So I'm like, damn, I need to start taking this shit serious because this could be my job. And here he is, nice house, everything doing, taken care of, and I'm winning. I roll winning one time, like early in the morning. He take me to the store winning, but he dropping off a box. This one, niggas was still dropping off uh, CDs to Rasputin and shit. He dropped off a box of Rasputin. It's like 9:30 in the morning. He like, say, look, you take your music. He, this is what he telling me, like, you take your music serious. He like, look, I just made 9,500 before 10 o'clock. He dropped his box off with all the mixtapes in it. Damn, Rasputin got, gave him a check for 9,500. I'm like, see, I gotta take this shit more serious. It's a lot of it's a lot of inspirations for me when it comes to music that's inspiring. But I like to always go back to the part where it's like uh, when I first actually start recording and just writing music and being serious, like, oh, I'm raw. And I take that all the way back to like when I first actually start writing on paper, and that's when I was like 15, um, my cousin, shout out Money, shout out Tuda, them two, we just was all used to just be in the room, and this is back when you, $3 a piece, get you one sack of weed, are right, we high now, let's make a song, like them type of days, like I, I go back to them, that was my most inspiration, because we'd just be sitting there, and like we wouldn't even be recording sometimes, if we was, it'd be like on our phone, so that was just like the most inspiring times to me when it comes to music because we'd be right there putting our all into a verse and not even recording that shit. Like, just, I don't know, that shit used to just, and from that point on, I'm like, all right, 
that's like where most of my inspiration for music came from. My two cousins, we'd just be right there writing a song and just say it. For my music, I want people to get a a, a message, like a, something that anybody can relate to. It don't gotta be targeted to a certain people, but I talk about mostly stuff that I've been through. So I know the stuff that I've been through, it's a lot of people that's been through that. So what I want people to get from my music is like, man, just keep on going. Cause you know, like you get from a lot of people music, it just, shit could be worse. And if you just keep pushing, you gonna make it through a lot of shit. But as far as my music go, I just like stay upbeat. Like I do get deep into it sometimes and talk about certain things, conscious things, but like I just like for my music to give people the feeling of an upbeat feeling like something to me, I like to make music something that you feel like you can ride around to and put it on repeat. Challenges I be facing while I'm following my dreams. Um, you know, I got things like, you know, when you're dealing with a dream like I'm following music, it's like you got everything involving music, especially if you just by yourself, you independent, you doing everything by yourself you got to pay for everything so one of my challenges is like i'm 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 working i work a nine to five i work a regular job you know i drive trucks whatever so me trying to stop from doing that and switching all the way over to worry about nothing but music and anything else i may be able to come up with a challenge with that is like you got to really try to focus and balance everything because with this music you're gonna get only what you put into it so it's like everything that i'm put into it is coming from me balancing this job over here so that's a challenge on its own and especially when you know you gotta take care of a family you gotta take care of kids you know but what keeps me going is I feel like I know that at the end of this road I'm gonna get somewhere with it because I know I got talent and not to compare myself to nobody I know if I just stay consistent, I can make it to where I'm trying to be at because I got actual talent and I'm confident in that. If I can go back in time and speak to younger me, I would tell myself, I would have told myself at a younger age, when I first really started writing music, I would have told myself right then to take it as serious as possible save up money not for nothing else but to put it towards my music that's one of the main things i would have been told myself to that was the most important thing i would have been told myself like right now what you're doing write it down and save all your money don't buy nothing but studio time find somewhere to record somebody record you start getting shit mixed like i wasn't thinking about none of that when i first started writing music and I wish I was. Yep, I got um, I got it all adds up. Cuddy Cuz, it all adds up. I just dropped Too Hungry to Starve last week on all platforms. Just dropped a video off of Too Hungry to Starve. It's called um, No Punch In. And then I got another video finna drop in a couple weeks. Uh, knock Us Off Our Feet. And then I got new project a mixtape it all adds up i'm gonna drop that august 19th on my fafa my grandpa birthday rest in peace fafa august 19th it all adds up cutty cuz yeah after that i'm just gonna do singles for a while right now my music is on mostly any platform most people stream from you know spotify itunes it's on everything i need to um Figure out what's going on with the SoundCloud thing. I have made a SoundCloud account. Like I said, I'm doing everything by myself, so I gotta try to get on the computer and figure that out, cause I need my music on there too. But yeah, anything people streaming on, I got it on YouTube and all that too. You can find it everywhere. Uh, yeah, I wanna give a shout out to all my family in Oakland, California. We got a lot of family out there doing music. I love everybody out there. All my kids, everybody out there in California. Keep doing what y'all doing. Stay safe, you know. Cutty cuz, man. I'm just focused on me right now. I'm trying to do this music thing.